Alright. So atas permintaan korang, kita sambung yang ini. Dari hat. So cikgu harap korang dah makan. Sempat ke? Setengah jam sempat ke? Makan, mandi. Korang mandi pun dah sejam. Betul. <laughs> Dia mengaku je. Ha. Tak sempat. Eh. Tak sempat. Alamak. Sempat makan tak? Makan yang penting. Makan dah. Makan dah. Okay. Sekarang kita ambil gambar tau. Ha, pandai-pandai lah korang. Okay. Alright. So kita pergi kepada gas law. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So gas law 4.4. Subtopik terakhir dalam bab ni. Eh, so untuk gas law, you must remember there's a three law. Ada tiga law. So selalu cikgu akan buat macam ni. That, that. That. Okay. So Pecah tiga P pressure V is a volume And T is temperature Okay so nama pun gas law So it's only related to gas So the one that study about the relationship between pressure and of gas and the volume of gas nama dia boils so this is boils law okay so the formula will be p1 v1 p2 v2 okay next one a person that study about volume the relationship between volume of gas and temperature of gas is charles Okay, Charles law is V1 over T1, V2 over T2. And the last person is, kalau betulnya, G, so sex law. Tapi korang punya syllabus, dia tulis, pressure law. Okay, so pressure law will be P1 over T1. P2 over T2. Okay. For boils, yang constant adalah temperature constant. Uh, temperature and also mass lah. Mass and temperature constant. Kalau charge, pressure. And mass is constant. Okay, two people in waiting room. Aliana, Sofina, okay. And last one is Gay Lusex. Okay, or pressure law. So pressure law yang constant adalah volume. Okay, uh, pergi. Okay, mana tadi? Okay, so kita tengok soalan. At 27 degrees Celsius, a balloon is used in the weather forecast has a pressure of 100 kilopascal. As the balloon reaches certain altitude, the pressure decreases to 90. What is the temperature of balloon? Okay, so step number one, which law? Okay, step number one is which law? Law yang mana? Kejap okay, dengan chatting. Pressure. Pressure law, yes. Okay, pressure law, good. Pressure law. So pressure law, what will be the formula? P1 over T1, P2 over T2. Okay. So we have a temperature. Okay, assuming this is T1. Pressure P1. Okay, this is this one. P2. Nak T2. Okay, cari berapa T2. Okay, cuba nak korang cuba dulu. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, so the answer is A. Okay, apa kesan lazim? Kesan lazim adalah tak tukar into Kelvin. So there's two law yang kena tukar Kelvin. Charles law, pressure law, there's a temperature. So temperature need to change to Kelvin. Okay, macam nak tukar Kelvin, you need to remember, you need to plus with 273. Okay, ni wajib eh. For gas law, wajib. Kesalahan lazim. Dia suka keluar sebab dia selalunya korang salah sebab tak tukar unit. So, it will be 100 kilopascal. Okay, and then bawah tu akan jadi 27 plus 273 equals to 90 kilopascal over temperature tak tahu. So it will be 100 kilopascal over 90 kilopascal. Okay. Sekejap cikgu susun ni lah. Susun T. Okay, rearrange T. Okay, cross multiply. You will get 90 kilopascal over 100 kilopascal times 300 Kelvin. Okay, times 300 Kelvin. So you get 270 Kelvin. But this is in Kelvin. So kita nak tukar ke dalam degree Celsius. Okay, macam nak tukar kepada degree Celsius, you minus back with 273. From Kelvin to degree Celsius, minus 273. So, 270 minus 273, negative 3 degrees Celsius. Okay. Dapat? Dapat. Okay, good. So, which graph show a correct relationship? Between the volume and temperature of a Charles law. Okay. Charles law kata apa? Charles law tadi, cikgu dah tulis formula kat situ. Charles law, the formula is V over T, V over T. Okay. So basically the relationship is, relationship dia sebenarnya adalah volume directly proportional to temperature. And you learn in maths variation. So, V equals to constant temperature. Okay, so V over T equals to constant. Uh, itu yang dapat V1 over T1, V2 over T2. Okay. So, relationship is this. Okay, ni ha. Directly proportional. Tapi kena ingat balik dekat nota pun ada cikgu tunjukkan. For Charles and pressure law, untuk graf kena careful. Okay, kalau contoh dia buat volume and temperature, the temperature in Kelvin, it is directly proportional. Okay, directly proportional. Start dari zero. Kau perangkap dia if volume, temperature, but this one is in degree Celsius. So, if in degree Celsius, 0 Kelvin equals to negative 273 degree Celsius. Ni 0 Kelvin. Okay. So, masuk kat situ maksudnya 0 Kelvin or negative 273 kita panggil dia sebagai absolute 0. Maksudnya waktu itu, what happened to the gas? The gas tak ada pressure, pressure dia kosong ataupun volume dia pun dia tak ada lah. Ha. Tapi waktu suhu apa? Negative 273. Okay, negative 273. Susah lah nak capai. So bila dia buat graf macam ni, this is a volume and temperature and for the graph, dia guna Kelvin. 
So the answer will be A. Okay. Ramai yang terconfuse dengan C. Sebab C ni inversely proportional. Okay. Kenapa dia confuse dengan C? Sebab dia tengok formula. VT, VT. Atas bawah dia kata ni atas bawah. Right. So careful. Yang ini formula dia adalah ratio. Okay. Ratio. Dia bukan macam sebelum ni. Uh, Q equals to MC theta. Contoh cikgu nak tanya apa relationship mass dengan C. So uh, mass C theta. Contoh macam tu. Okay. So eh, mass dengan theta lah. Mass dengan theta. Uh, so apa mass dengan theta. So bigger mass lagi besar theta dia lagi sikit. Uh, so itu inversely proportional. Tapi sebab apa? Sebab huruf ni semua tak sama. And this is not ratio. Yang kita cerita Charles Law ni ratio. Okay, ratio. So asal dia, hubungan dia is directly proportional. Okay, tu kira korang kena ingat. Untuk graph. Okay, graph. Okay, this one. Diagram show an airtight cylinder with a piston. A force applied onto the piston to produce a pressure. Okay, so force, pressure, but to distance. So first, which law dulu? Nah, dalam ni ada gas. Okay, dalam ni ada gas. Ah, which law dulu? Boys law. Boys law. Okay, kenapa boys? Betul, tapi kenapa? Temperature constant. Temperature constant. Dia tak ada, tak ada uh, Bunsen burner ke, tak ada kat sini. So the temperature is constant. There's no change in temperature. So this is Boyce law. So Boyce law kata pressure inversely proportional with volume. Okay, higher pressure, lower volume. Okay, ni inversely proportional. Okay, jadikan equation. Okay, you learn in maths. Variation. Okay, so tu dia punya formula. Right, so sekarang ni dia tanya, which graph represent the relationship between pressure and compression? So, hubungan dia adalah inversely proportional. Okay, jawapan dia C. Alright, kenapa dengan uh, compression? Cikgu kata dekat atas dengan volume. Kenapa? Apa kaitan length ni dengan volume? Okay, kaitan length dengan volume is kat sini. Kalau kita kira volume. Volume tu apa? Volume is basically an area times height. In this case, times the length. Okay. So, secara konsepsualnya, silinder tu, area dia tak ubah pun. It will be the same area. So, the volume of that cylinder depend on the changes of the length. Maksudnya, kalau length dia ni berkurang, secara automatiknya volume dia pun berkurang. Okay, so if I plot a graph of pressure and volume, it will be inversely proportional. And if we plot a graph of pressure and length, it is also inversely proportional. Okay, and inversely proportional, dia tak sentuh X exists, dia tak sentuh Y exists. So jawapan kat sini adalah cacing. Okay, dapat tak? Dapat. Okay, satu soalan. Uh, law. Satu soalan pressure law. Satu soalan boys law. 
Charles law tadi pun ada graph. So tiga-tiga dah ada dah. Pressure law, Charles law, Boyce law. Okay next one. 2015 pula dia keluar. Show a pressure of a car tire which is 200 kilopascal at a temperature of 30 degree Celsius. And then after a long journey, the temperature of a tire increase to 60 degree. What is the new pressure? Okay. So same question sebelum jawab which law? And ada keyword kat situ. Volume pressure. of air doesn't change. Yes. So pressure law. So guna pressure law. P1, T1, P2, T2. Okay. So kita ada senarai kat situ. Temperature 1, 30 degree. Pressure 1, 200. So temperature 2 is 60 degree and what will be pressure 2? Okay, try to calculate. Hey madam, are you class? Tak. Betul tak? Yeah, Betul? So the answer is bot. Jangan lupa tukar Kelvin. Tu je. Jangan lupa tukar Kelvin. Jangan lupa tukar Kelvin. Okay. So korang nampak soalan pressure law yang atas pun kira, yang bawah pun kira. Yang Charles law tadi, graph. Yang Boyce law pun, graph. Okay. So diagram show a syringe connected to a boden gauge, boden gauge. Okay, so tak ada termo, uh, tak ada uh, bunsen burner kat situ. Maksudnya there's no changes in heat. There's no temperature thermometer nak ukur temperature. So basically this is constant temperature. So my next question, which law? Oh, lajunya. Okay, boys law. Yes. Okay, ni boys law. Ha, ada yang komen kat chat. Okay, next one. The reading of Borden gauge is 1 times 10 to the power of 5 pascal when the volume of air in the syringe is 40 centimeter cube. What is the new reading when the volume of air is 10 centimeter cube? Okay, so dekat sini, uh, macam tu cakap tadi, yang kena tukar is only temperature. Okay, tukar unit is temperature. So in this chapter, because dia ratio, tak tukar unit pun tak apa. Maksudnya, centimeter cube tu tak payah nak tukar jadi meter cube. Tak perlu. Okay, tak perlu tukar jadi meter cube. You can just use 40 centimeter cube. Okay, only temperature kena tukar Kelvin. Okay, only temperature kena tukar Kelvin. So kat sini dia kata the P1, the pressure is 1 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay and then that volume is 40. And what is the new reading when volume of air, so berapa P dia? When the volume of air dah jadi 10. Okay, so first this is Boyce law. So Boyce law is P1 V1, P2 V2. Okay, for gas law, formula dia tak bagi. So korang kena 
tahu nak buat formula tadi yang segitiga boy charles pressure tu kena tahu Okay, so uh, masukkan Forty, so sini berapa? Sini ten. Secara logik ratio-nya adalah uh, empat kali ganda. So jawapannya akan jadi empat. Eh, negatif lima pula. Kuasa lima. Ha, ni lima, ni negatif lima. Okay. So, 4 kali 10 kuasa 5 Darat 10 So, korang akan dapat kalau kita darab tu jawapan dia sama Okay, korang akan dapat belah sini 4 kali 10 kuasa 6 Sini pun 4 kali 10 kuasa 6 So, itulah maksud constant Okay, constant. Kiri kanan bila darab jawapan dia sama. Constant value. Okay. Alright. So nak pergi 30. Diagram 19 show a bubble wrap which is normally used for packing fragile glassware. Air bubbles expand when the surrounding temperature increase. So kat sini, temperature increase. So ada temperature. Okay, dia dah ayat kat situ, temperature increase. So which law tu kalau ada temperature tu? Charles law. Charles law. Okay, temperature sebab apa? Dia kata uh, air bubble expand. So, volume dia berubah. Okay, the situation can explain by Charles Law. Okay, uh, volume dia berubah. Okay, habis. So, masuk ke 2018. Okay, 2018 kat sini soalan 31. Kalau SPM 2018 soalan nombor 21. Okay, so dia terus specific capacity. Which pair of magnitude of mass and specific capacity produce the highest rise in temperature when substance is heated? Okay. They not highest temperature. Okay, highest temperature. Maksudnya, Q equals to MC theta. Okay, temperature tu kita tengok dekat theta. So, what is relationship between theta and mass? So, rearrange. <coughs> Q over M. C theta. Higher theta. Kalau mass dia low. Okay. So, next one is. Sama juga, Q equals to MC theta. What is the relationship between C and theta? So, sekali lagi, tak boleh cari relationship kalau duduk sebelah-sebelah. So, Q over C, M theta. So, theta dengan C pun relationship dia inversely proportional. Higher theta if lower C. Okay, any part yang tak clear kat sini, kenapa cikgu susun balik, uh, so ada tak? So, ini kemahiran paling penting untuk fizik. So, kalau korang boleh susun-susun formula tu, banyak-banyak so soalan boleh diselesaikan. Because basically, bila dia tanya conceptual, is relate to what have you learned. So, this is what have you learned. Changing the temperature is depend on the mass, on the specific heat, on the heat being supply, okay? Uh, so, dia tanya what is relation, kalau nak theta tinggi macam mana? Theta tinggi kalau ada smaller mass. Uh, contohnya kalau nak panaskan air banyak, air sikit. Air sikit cepat dia tukar suhu. Okay, sama juga specific heat. Kalau low specific heat, easily heat up, senang panas. Okay, so kita ambil B. Okay. 
Ada sebarang soalan untuk yang ni? Tak ada. Okay, tak ada kita pergi next question. Soalan 20. Ah, tengok eh susunan. 2018, yang ni soalan 20. Tadi soalan nombor 21. Ah, maknanya dalam soalan SPM tu, dia start dengan soalan ni dahulu. Okay, dia start dengan soalan ni dahulu. Tahun 2018. Okay, a boy try to break a metal wire by bending and straightening the wire repeatedly. Okay, so dia bengkok, bengkok, bengkok. After a while, the wire become hot. The metal wire become hot because... Okay, the force between the molecule decrease. The wire absorb heat from the surrounding. The kinetic energy of the of molecule of wire increase. The potential energy of molecule of wire increase. Okay. Mana dia dapat energy bila korang bend, bend, bend? Uh, try to think. Ada wire, lepas tu kita bend, bend, bengkokkan. Okay. So, bila bengkokkan, apa energy yang berubah. Okay, so recap balik. What is the formula for kinetic energy? 1 over 2 mv square. Good. 1 over 2 mv square. Uh, how about a formula for potential energy? m g h. Okay, so potential. Okay, potential energy depend on the height kinetic energy depend on the speed okay so this energy boleh convert into heat energy okay so rasanya bila kita bengkokkan 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 apa yang berubah kinetic energy dia ke or potential energy dia ha kinetic energy wire tu mesti ada mass Ha, ada tak velocity? Okay, kita tengok mana yang berubah. Velocity ke height? Potential. Potential. Okay. So, the potential energy of a molecule. Yes, potential energy. Potential, okay, potential energy, yes, between molecule. Okay. Alright, kinetic energy. Cikgu. Cikgu, ras, cikgu tak rasa potential lah, sekejap. Cikgu rasa kalau dia band-band dia bergerak. So, bila dia bergerak. Sekejap, kinetic energy untuk heat capacity. is changing temperature. So, changing temperature affect kinetic energy. Ah, yes. Kinetic energy. Sebab kalau kita bagi temperature, apa jadi kepada molekul? Dia akan excited. Okay. So basically bila kita band-band, uh, so it's like a friction. Okay. So kenapa dia jadi panas? Because there's a kinetic energy. Not a potential energy. Okay. Kinetic energy. Right. So dah rasa isi. Uh. 22. This is a heating curve. Maknanya tahun ni ada dua soalan pasal latent heat. Okay, so graph between temperature and time. So soalan dia adalah
which phase show a process of latent heat fusion latent heat fusion being released Hai. Soalan salah ni. Mana boleh being release? Latent heat fusion being release. Mana boleh release? Ini heating curve. Heating curve semua absorb. Okay. Kita tukar balik soalan dia. Latent heat of fusion being absorbed. Kenapa tak boleh release? Sebab release only happen when liquid change to solid. Okay. okay kita balik with fusion. So what is latent heat of fusion? Fusion is solid change to liquid. It is absorbed from solid to liquid. It will be released liquid to solid. Bahasa mudahnya kalau absorb heating curve. Kalau release it will be uh, cooling curve. Uh, soalan tak tepat ni. Okay so mana yang uh, latent heat of fusion? Q. Okay uh, this is fusion. S is vaporization. P is specific heat. Specific heat. Soalan tak tepat tu. Okay, absorb. Kita ambil absorb. Jawapan dia bola. Orang ni salah salin kot. Okay, next one. Diagram 14.1 show a pill egg is placed on the top of conical flask that contain a burning candle. Diagram 14.2 show a pill egg moving into the conical flask once the flame of the candle extinguish. Okay. So kat sini ada flame, confirm ada temperature. Okay, kenapa telur yang dah dikupas tu? Dia masuk waktu api tu dah tak ada. And dia tak boleh masuk waktu ada api. So ni maksudnya ni temperature. Temperature. Okay. So first kita tengok jawab soalan dulu. Which pair explain the situation? Uh, kenapa waktu ada api tu dia tak boleh masuk? Okay first which law? Uh, kita tahu dulu which law. Ingat eh kita cerita pasal gas law kita cerita pasal apa? Pasal gas. Pasal gas kat dalam ni. Okay kenapa panas tak boleh masuk bila dah sejuk boleh masuk? Okay. Okay, apa jadi pada pressure dia? Pressure dia decrease. Pressure dia decrease. Okay, kenapa pressure dia decrease? Betul? Tapi kenapa pressure dia decrease? Sebab temperature decrease. Yes, the relationship is temperature decrease, pressure decrease. This is based on pressure law. Okay. So the temperature in the conical flask, suhu dalam, unchanged or decrease? Uh, unchanged ke decrease secara logiknya? Decrease kan? Decrease. Decrease. Right. Okay, that's a pressure law. Habis 2018. 
Dan habis paper 1. Okay. Alright. So, kalau kita tengok tadi, soalan kira-kira tak banyak pun. Okay. Lebih banyak soalan kira-kira dekat gas law compared to specific heat and latent heat. Uh, so tadi specific dengan latent heat pun ada satu soalan je. Satu soalan, soalan. Okay, kalau thermal equilibrium langsung tak ada. Tapi kalau trial ada. Okay, kalau trial ada. Okay, kalau SPM tadi langsung tak ada. Even kalau korang perasan soalan yang pasal thermometer pun tak ada dekat paper 1. Uh. Okay, so dia ada dekat sini. Paper 2. Okay, so korang boleh tengok dekat atas ni Topik yang uh, masuk paper 2 Kalau tengok kepada senarai ni dia agak seimbang lah Okay, thermal equilibrium 3 kali Specific capacity pun kalau tengok kat situ ada uh, Specific capacity ni sekali Lepas tu ni gabung half-half Okay, lepas tu ni pun gabung ha, Lepas tu ni dia sorang-sorang Lepas tu dia balik Okay, so kerana specific capacity ni keluar empat kali. Kalau latent heat keluar paper tu, satu sikit dia. Ha, untuk SPM memang jarang sikit. Tapi kalau trial ada eh, ada. Ha, gas law pun keluar dua setengah. Okay, so kat sini, uh, the first one is thermal equilibrium. Okay, dia punya application is, one of the application is the usage of thermometer to measure the temperature change during thermal equilibrium. Okay, name one type of liquid is used in thermometer. Apa liquid yang kita guna? Mercury. Okay, good. Kenapa mercury? Okay, one of the reason is mercury, they expand uniformly. Okay, apa lagi reason pakai mercury? Sensitive. Opaque. Senang nak tengok. And also sensitive to? Temperature. Temperature change. Okay. Right. Mana-mana satu lah. Ha, tapi korang kan bijak. Bubur je lah tiga-tiga. Okay, so itu reason kenapa pakai mercury. It expand uniformly. Maksudnya, dia terima heat, dia naik sama-sama. Sama-sama naik. Okay, opaque and sensitive to temperature change. Next one. Ni soalan nombor satu eh. Uh, dia tulis kat situ. Thermal equilibrium, soalan nombor satu. Soalan nombor satu markah dia sikit je, empat markah. So complete the following sentence. The temperature of water is taken when the liquid is in uh, liquid in the thermometer is stop expanding. So dia dah stop. Waktu dia stop ni maksudnya dia dah reach the mercury has reached thermal equilibrium. Then you take the reading. Uh, tapi sekarang tak pakai dah, kita pergi mana-mana pun pakai apa tu, thermometer tint, uh, kan, infrared. Name the physics principle. Thermal equilibrium. Okay. So itu 2013. Lama dia tak keluar, tak keluar, tak keluar, tak keluar. Dia keluar balik 2017. Show the graph of pressure against temperature for fixed mass of gas at constant volume. Okay, ni gas law. Okay, which law? Okay, which law? Pressure. Pressure law. 
Rasa-rasa berapa nilai X tu? Berapa nilai X tu? Uh, neg eh. Negatif 300 273 Eh uh, Okay, negatif 273 Sepatutnya lah uh, yang betulnya, yang tepatnya negatif 273 Itu yang tepat lah Tapi kalau ikut graf dia ni macam 300 uh, Tapi negatif 273 is the temperature Where the pressure is zero Maksudnya dekat temperature negatif 273, pressure ni zero So pressure zero apa jadi dekat gas? Uh. Okay, degree Celsius Okay, negative 73 degree Celsius equal to zero Kelvin. Apa jadi pada gas? Pressure of gas zero Pascal. Maknanya apa jadi dekat gas? Gas is in stationary. Tak boleh nak gerak lah. Okay, gas dalam keadaan stationary. Nah, itu kalau dia berada that at that temperature. Okay, so ada tak tempat dekat dunia boleh capai that temperature? Ha, ada tak dalam dunia ni mana-mana tempat negatif 273? Tak ada kan? Tak ada. So bahasa mudahnya dalam dunia ni memang takkan ada tempat yang gas tak boleh bergerak. Ha, so semua gas dia boleh bergerak kat mana-mana tempat saja dalam dunia ni Melainkan kalau suhu dia negatif 273 Which is bukan gas je tak boleh hidup, kita pun tak boleh hidup Confirm lah Okay so complete the following sentence So the temperature is Degree of hotness A form of energy is heat So unit of heat is joule, unit of temperature is Kelvin for SI and you have another unit Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay, so number one. Based on the diagram, what happened to the pressure when temperature decrease? So based on the graph and based on the law pun, so kalau temperature they decrease, the pressure also decrease. Okay, name the temperature at point X. Okay, so the temperature we call it as absolute zero. Okay, the temperature name is absolute zero. So what happened to the motion of gas at point X. So the gas will remain stationary. Okay, boleh? Boleh. Okay, so that's four marks for that question. Okay, so next we go to the specific capacity. Ni bahagian A. Tapi kalau tengok kat situ, markah dia. Ni soal nombor 8. So soal nombor 8 ni markah dia banyak. Berapa markah dia? So ingat lagi. Kalau soal nombor 8. Sepuluh. Sepuluh? Dua belas. Okay, maka ada dua belas. Okay. So, dua belas maka. Uh, paling banyak eh, soalan nombor lapan. Bagian A sampai lapan soalan je. So, nombor lapan paling banyak. Okay, so dia bagi dua model. Model A, model B. Uh, And bright surface, dark surface, high specific heat, low specific heat. Okay, kat situ pun korang dah boleh pilih dah. Rasa-rasa model mana sesuai jadi frying pan. Okay. 
Okay, you need to choose. Which one is the most suitable? Mm. B. Okay, dah. So, maksud, what is the meaning of specific heat capacity? Uh, apa maksud dia? Maksud dia, the amount of heat required by one. Jangan lupa, one kg substance to change temperature. Change temperature maksudnya sama ada increase or decrease eh. Sama ada dia naik ataupun turun. Change temperature by one degree Celsius without changing its state. Okay, so this is the meaning of specific heat capacity. Ah, tu maksud dia. Okay, so now you need to choose based on the information. Diagram eight state suitable characteristic of frying pan used for cooking, the type of surface, and the specific capacity. Okay, tu semua dua makar dua makar tu. Okay, so type of surface, dark surface. Kenapa dark? Absorbs heat. Hmm. Uh. Absorb heat. Ataupun nak sedap dia Better At absorbing Heat Okay, number two Kita ambil low specific capacity Okay, reason Kenapa nak kena ambil low The temperature of the frying pan will increase easily. Yes, easily heat up. Okay. So, sebenarnya empat markah tau. Dia, dia buat tu dua markah. Sebenarnya empat markah. So, type of surface kat sini ada dua markah. And reason. Okay, type of surface and reason dua markah. Specific capacity and reason ada dua markah. So, currently kita dah dapat lima out of twelve. Okay, lima. Lepas tu, C pula, markah percuma based on the answer, determine which model of frying pan will absorb heat effectively. So, mana yang paling absorb heat paling efektif, jawapan dia B. Macam tu je. Okay, so jawapan dia B. Yang atas kena bagi reason, bawah tak perlu. Okay, And then dia tanya reason. Nah, baru dia tanya reason. Uh, kenapa kita kata uh, Oh ni dia And you give your reason Okay so kita kata B Kenapa B Because It's easily Heat up dah Okay So sampai situ dengan reason dua markah tadi bagi tahu low specific dengan reason dua markah pilih uh, dark surface dua markah maksud ke atas satu markah total tujuh. So kita ada baki berapa lagi? Ha, markah dia total dua belas. So kita dah ada tujuh markah. So ada berapa lagi baki? Lima markah. So kita start kira dia kat sini lima markah untuk kira-kira. Okay, so cikgu bagi kat sini Okay, a kettle contain uh, 0.5 kg of water 
the average heat absorbed by the water is 16 joule per second in 25 minute. Calculate the amount of heat absorbed. Okay, so kat sini dia ada perangkap sikit. Okay, so dia pakai heater. Kita akan guna PT MC theta. Alright, so what will be the mass? 0 0.5 kg, no need to change. Okay, so power dia mana? 16. Yes. Ni, ni joule per second. Joule per second is also known as 16 watt. Okay, 16 joule per second tu maksudnya 16 watt. So this is a power. Ni lah power dia. Okay, and then time. Kena tukar tak? Yes. Yes, so nak jadi berapa? 16 watt time 25 minute and there is 60 second in 1 minute. So you get berapa second? 1,500. Okay. Okay, 1,500 second. Okay, so next. The amount of heat absorbed is PT. So, 16 joule per second times 1500 second potong potong dapat berapa 24000 okey So then baru kita kira The rise in temperature Maksudnya dia nak theta And now the specific heat capacity of water is 4200 Okay So kita pun kira If you want to rearrange Boleh rearrange Okay, so dapat berapa? 11.43 Okay, degree Celsius 11.43 Done Okay, so cikgu buat macam ni. Kalau ada nak salin. Dah siap kemas barang ke? Ah, belum. Belum. Hmm.
dah shopping ke nak bawa apa bekalan makanan berbulan-bulan biskut maggi belum. Korang boleh buat buat boleh buat Maggie kan? Ke tak dibenarkan? Sebenarnya tak boleh tapi bawa je. Uh-uh. Ah sebenarnya tak boleh, serius. Ha uh-uh, tak boleh bawa boleh, macam boleh bawa fast food. Tapi tapi itulah lapar kan. <laughs> serius ah tak boleh bawa food. So kalau korang lapar macam mana? Bawa je lah masuk sikit. <laughs> Saya senyap. Alah, semua orang bawa cikgu. Tuh lah. Yelah tak. Memang, memang memang peraturan dia tak boleh ke? Haa. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Takut monyet ambil makan. <laughs> oh ya? Yeah. Ya yeah, betul. Ada monyet? Ada. Ada, ada cikgu. Mana ada hutan pun ada. <laughs> Pernah nampak ke apa? Ya yeah, betul korang. Ada babi hutan. Ada. Ada cikgu tepi surau. Yo Allah. Kawasan hutan je. Indom juga. pun ada. Tu lah. Masuk dom. Betul, betul. Ular pun ada. Eh. Eh, cikgu yang tu tak boleh. Tak dengar. <laughs> semua ada. Oh, semua ada. Cikgu semua cikgu hari mana ada. Okay, kau korang, yelah, korang duduk dekat dengan Zuzu kan? Betul, Zoo betul. Uh-huh. Ih, ular tak boleh. Cikgu tak boleh. Dengar. Masuk Tenang. dom. Dengar pun tak boleh. Ni kan tengok. Uh. Okay. Tak apa. Belilah stok makanan. Sebab tu korang pun tak tahu bila keluar kan? Tiga minggu tak boleh keluar. Oh dah ada umum. Tiga minggu tak boleh keluar. Haa. Uh-huh. Masuk Melak- sekolah je tiga minggu tak boleh. Dia visit tak boleh keluar. Melawat pun tak boleh. Parent datang tak boleh tak kat? Boleh. Tiga minggu tak boleh. Wow. Eh tapi tak apa. Korang okey lagi. Korang letak telefon. Kalau connection okey cikgu. Tuh, korang bayangkan sekolah asrama yang tak boleh buat telefon. Lepas tu kena peraturan macam korang. Ha, lagilah azab. Sama ya, cikgu. Ya, sekolah ya. asrama yang tak boleh bawa Mama telefon je. dengan sekolah yang boleh bawa phone tapi lain macam uh. <laughs> Betul. Uh, korang carilah line mana yang okey kat SU. Takkan tak ada satu pun line, line telefon yang tak okey. Dekat hutan cikgu. Yo, dom saya H Mana plus dapat internet H plus dengan satu bar <laughs> Okey lah So memang kalau kata contoh nak buat kelas online Mereka tak boleh lah kan ah. uh. Kena okay. pergi tempat lain lah Pakai data <laughs> sendiri Okey Aduh Tak apa insyaAllah korang boleh punya Tiga minggu je Okey Tiga next one Ni nombor empat pula. Uh, so ni latent heat. Tadi dah specific heat. Ni latent heat. So latent heat tukar state. So ni dia punya eksperimen adalah dia nak tukar state apa ni? Dia nak tukar ice. Ice cube. Okay ice cube. Uh, being heated by 600 watt emission heater for 60 second. Okay ni ada power. P power. And 60 second time. Okay, kalau soalan ni tak ada trick sebab time dia dah second. Power dia pun dah watt. Macam atas tadi ada trick. Joule per second. Ha, joule per second tu sebenarnya watt. Ha. And then dia kata the melting ice cube are collected in the beaker. The specific latent heat of fusion. Dah ada L kat sini. So based on the formula PT ML. Yang tak ada M. M je tak ada. P, T ada, P ada, T ada, L ada. Mass tak ada. Okay. So kita nak tahu berapa mass of ice map. Okay. Mass of water tu maksudnya mass of ice yang map lah. Yang dah map. Uh, kalau atas ni, dia tak map lagi. Yang dekat bawah tu yang map. Okay. So maksudnya mula-mula, okay, mula-mula cikgu ada funnel ni, ada ais. Okay, ada ais. Dekat bawah ni belum ada air lagi. Okay, initially tak ada air lagi sebab all the ice masih ada dekat atas tu. Tak mat lagi. Maksudnya kalau kata dia bagi tahu mass of ice, contoh. Katakan mass of ice kat sini 
adalah 500 gram. Katalah kat sini cikgu bagi tahu mass of ice 300 gram contoh. Okey, so soalan dia berapa yang melt? Ha. Berapa yang dah melt? Okey. The first picture yang cikgu lukis pakai pen warna biru tu, itu belum melt. And then gambar yang second one, bila dah melt tinggal 300. So my question is, berapa mass yang dah melt? Yang cikgu tulis tu baru mass ice. Sebelah sana pun mass ice. Okay, 200. Yes, correct. Ada yang tulis kat chat. Thank you. 200. Ha, so, kena faham yang kita ambil dalam formula. Yang kita ambil dalam formula, PT equals to ML. Kita tak ambil mass of the ice. Kita ambil mass of the water. Sebab water tu adalah the amount of ice that have melted dah cair. So kita ambil yang dah cair. Kita tak ambil yang tinggal. Okay. So kita tak tengok dekat ni. Kita tak tengok ni. Kita tengok yang ni. Okay. So maknanya kalau dalam mass ni, kita ambil yang 200 ni masuk sini sebagai contoh. Ha, so kita tak ambil 500. Kita tak ambil 300. Kita ambil mass water. 200. Okay. So kita pergi soalan. Apalah nak aku minta luar tu. Okey. Hilang tak? Haa ah, cepatlah. Haa. Ah. Okey. What is the meaning of specific latent heat of fusion? Okey. So apa jawapan kalau yang korang punya bagi? Okey. Nak start dengan apa? Ya, eh, ayat mula-mula dia sentiasa sama. Specific heat ke, latent heat ke, ayat mula-mula dia sama. Apa ayat mula-mula dia? Amount of heat energy required. Ya, yeah, the amount of heat energy required. Wow, macam orang putih dah. The amount of heat energy required. Sedap slang tu. Required by 1 kg. Jangan lupa 1 kg. Substance. Atau dalam kes ni apa? Ice. 1 kg of ice change to water or vice versa. Uh, without changing temperature. Okay. Okay, itu number one. Number two, explain why the temperature does not change when the ice cube change to liquid. Okay, so kenapa dia tak berubah? Because the energy is absorbed not to change the temperature. The energy is absorbed to overcome the force of attraction between ice molecule. Okay. Uh, two reason dia. Ataupun uh, energy is absorbed to apa kira jawapan yang lain? To okay. We can Eh, salah je. Ah, okay. Itu pun boleh. Ah, kenapa tak berubah? Okay, why the temperature does not change? Okay. And then calculate the energy absorbed by the ice. So energy absorbed by the ice, you use the formula of PT 
Okay, heat or energy is PT Cause dia absorb daripada heater tu So heater tadi dia bagi tahu uh, 600 watt For 60 second Six hundred watt to joule per second. Sixty second. Hmm. Okay, and number two, the mass of ice which have melt. So PT ML M PT over L. Three six zero 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 over three point three times ten to the power of five. Eh, power five, power six, power five. Okay, power five. Joule. Joule per kg. So, potong joule, tinggal kg. So, dapat um, Okay Okay, kecil tekan kalkulator dapat berapa? Zero point One 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 when when? 0 0.11 kg. kg. Yeah, 0 0.10990. Uh, okay, so 0 0.11. So 0 0.11 kalau kita nak tukar ml boleh. Uh, contohlah kalau kita nak kalau dia minta ml. Okay, kalau dia minta ml. So 1 liter 1 kg. Okay. So maknanya 0 0.11 kg. 0.11 liter. So nak tukar milliliter is about 0. Point. Okay. So 0. 0.11 liter. Okay, 1 liter 1000 ml. Uh, so potong darab 1000 1 2 3. So 110 ml. Atau kalau ml lah, kalau ml tapi kat sini tak minta ml. Soalan trial pernah ada minta ml. Okey dia minta in milliliter. So milliliter dia will be 1000 eh 110. Ha, tak banyak lah maknanya. Kalau korang ada air mineral tu, mineral tu yang kecil tu, 500ml. So dia 100 sikit bawah. Okay. So habis latent heat. So pergi pula gas. Okay. So diagram show. So gas ingat ada tiga gas law. So the main thing or the important thing you need to know is which law. Okay, so diagram 5.1, 5.2 show trap air in two identical flasks heated with different quantity of heat. Both stove are turned off after 10 minutes. Okay, so 10 minutes, masa dia sama. Okay, time, heating time. Is the same. Okay. So, ni soalan nombor lima. So, senang sikit sebab dia compare, compare, compare. So, kita tengok dulu gambar pertama. What is the difference between the first picture and the second picture? Okay, cuba cari what is the difference between the first picture and the second picture. Apa yang kita nampak? Based on your observation. 
the pressure the pressure yes the pressure is different okey tapi another different pressure betul this is low pressure the temperature the temperature this is di thermometer kat sini ha ni temperature dia sampai sini Okay, the temperature is lower. Yang ini, temperature is higher and the pressure also higher. Okay, so first pressure and temperature, yes, thank you. So pressure and temperature, which law? Pressure law. So kita kena tahu dulu. Sebab kalau ni keluar paper tu, confirm dia akan tanya at the end which law. So the answer is pressure law. Nampak bijak sikit, korang boleh tulis. Uh, ni nama yang betul. Okay, Gay-Lussac law. Okay. So state the physical quantity measured by the Borden gauge gas pressure. Okay, based on the diagram, compare the reading. Kita buat ringkas je, 5.1 less than 5.2. Compare the reading of both thermometer, 5.1 less than 5.2. Relationship between heat supply and temperature. Higher heat supply, the higher the temperature. Okay, mana cikgu tahu pasal heat supply? Korang tak, tak, tak perasan dekat satu ni kot. Dekat stove. Stove kat sini maximum. Stove yang dekat gambar atas, dia dekat tengah-tengah. Okay, ada different kat situ. Okay, that's a different. Next one. State relationship between the pressure and the temperature. So, kita boleh juga tulis macam ni. Pressure is directly proportional to temperature or boleh tulis macam ni as temperature increase pressure of air increase Uh, pun boleh juga. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, setakat ni ada soalan? Tak ada. Tak ada. Okay. Next one. Based on kinetic theory of matter, explain the reason for your answer. Okay, dia nak suruh kita explain kat sini, kinetic theory. Okay, uh, kita buat luar law. Law dia adalah pressure law. Okay, so kinetic theory of matter. Okay. When temperature increase, apa jadi? Kinetic energy of gas increase. Thus increase the rate of collision
between the air and container. So temperature increase, kinetic energy increase, increase the rate of collision, and lastly, this increase the pressure of air. Okay, and the punya law, pressure law. Okay, boleh tak? Setter bagian E. Berapa page lagi ni? Oh, sempat ke? Tengok berapa page. Uh, one, two, three, four, alamak, five, six, ah, seven. Seven lagi. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, kita pilih, pilih lah. Kita pilih, pilih. Okay. Uh, okay, ni relationship between volume of trap air and pressure. Okay, basically soalan yang ini mula-mula dia. Nombor 6 ni. Kalau dah kata kat sini. Volume and pressure. Ada air pula tu. Maksudnya ini bukan specific heat lagi. Ini soalan related to which concept? Rasa-rasanya ni konsep mana? Volume and pressure. Ha. Okay. Volume and pressure. Rasa-rasa yang mana ni? Kita ada dua gambar. Itu gambar pertama. Okay, gambar pertama. Trap air kat situ. Bacaan volume dia 20. Okay, bacaan volume dia 20. Pressure kat situ. And second one, bacaan volume dia jadi lagi rendah. And pressure dia jadi lagi rendah. Okay, so basically the first one is a gas law. But which law? Uh, soalan ni gabung ni. Which law? So this is Boyce law. Okay. Boyce law. Volume and temperature inversely proportional. Okay. What is the meaning of pressure? Okay. Pressure sama force act upon an area. Jep. Yang compare-compare ni name physics law korang boleh buat. Uh, Kita ambil, oh ni rumah. Okay, kita ambil rumah. Soalan C. Diagram show a model of house in Malaysia. Uh, rumah ni cikgu sedih sebenarnya. Kenapa kau rasa cikgu sedih dengan rumah ni? Kat sini tak ada tingkap. Sian dia. Tingkat satu ke? Tambahlah tingkat. Ha. Ha, ni betul-betul tak ada bajet ni. Tingkat satu, pintu satu. Okay, so dia nak apa? Using appropriate physics concept, explain the use of suitable material and design to improve ventilation of the house. Okay, pengundaraan. And to ensure the temperature inside the house is not high. Okay. So, you are, your answer should include the following aspect. Okay, so dia punya, dia nak yang pertama, pengundaraan dia baik. And dia punya suhu dalam rumah tu tak tinggi. Okay. 
So pertama kita kena cerita dari segi number of window, the size of a window, specific capacity of material for the wall, the type of material for the roof and additional features that can cool the house. Okay, so this is open-ended question. So as long as your answer is uh, acceptable, okay, they can terima. Okay, first one, number of window. Apa kita nak buat dengan number of window? Okay. Your opinion. Tambahkan lagi. Okay. So, number of window, increase the number of window. Ah, tapi kenapa? Kenapa nak tambah? Ha. Ha ha ha, kenapa? Okey, size. Of window bigger Ingat eh, dia nak dua. Satu pengudaraan, satu suhu. Okay, so number of window increase. Okay, increase number of window. Kenapa? So the air can flow. in can flow in okay so bigger more air And flow in. Okay. And then specific heat capacity. Of material. Higher. So. Hardly heat up. Okay, so inside the house, hmm. hardly heat up. Okay, hardly lah. Untuk apa dah ada cukup dah. Okay, the type of material for the roof. Okay, nak pakai apa? Heat insulator. Oh, insulator, okay. Dia, kalau orang pakai zinc, zinc kan rumah yang pakai zinc dia panas. Sebab zinc adalah heat absorber. Dia serap. Okay, heat insulator macam contoh orang pakai yang keping-keping tu. Asbestos yang letak keping-keping tu. Yang tu heat insulator. Okay, so heat insulator kenapa? Uh, does not absorb heat. Okay, ataupun let's not easily absorb heat. Okay. So additional features apa yang korang nak tambah bagi rumah tu sejuk? Fan in the walls, why? Fan in the wall. 
paint the walls white. Okay, boleh. Paint the wall white. Kenapa? Boleh juga. Less absorb heat. Okay, apa lagi? Apa lagi yang kita boleh tambah? Aircon. More fan. Ha, ni semua boleh terima. Okay. Uh, lagi apa tu? Apa ke nama dia? Uh, airflow. Okay, airflow yang kalau kat rumah kadang dia ada yang korang perasan kat rumah dia bulat kat atas kat bumbung tu. Uh, to air ventilation. Okay. Install air ventilator. Absorb. Hot air. Ataupun dia akan release hot air inside the house. Ha, dia macam ada kipas. So kipas tu pusing, dia serap udara panas naik ke atas. Ha, so air ventilator. Okay, tu semua yang korang boleh tambah. Ha. Okay. Okay, dapat tak? Ada apa, ada idea tambahan tak? Pergi nak tambah. Ha, tu selalu orang buat lah. Ha, aircon, more fan, ventilator. Semua dia terima sebab ini open end. Open end maksudnya dia memang dia, bu dia buka kepada korang asalkan idea tu betul dan diterima and ada konsep fizik dia. So dia terima. Okay. Ha, tu dia punya ni. Alright. So itu yang kita sempat. Yang lain ni tak sempat pula. Hmm. Ada lagi 6 page. 7 page. Pish tak sempat. Okay. Huh. Alright. So kita stop dulu. Because some of you pun ada kelas. Ada kelas lain pula. Okay. So itulah dia basically. Uh, walaupun kita tak sempat habis paper tu. But I hope kita dapat recap balik. Konsep yang ada from the thermal equilibrium. Apa yang kena ingat specific heat capacity, okay, specific capacity changing temperature and then latent heat changing phase and last sekali, eh dah, dah keluar. Dah Fina baru keluar ke? Ke ter, ter keluar. And last sekali adalah uh, tadi latent heat dulu change phase and last sekali gas law. So ada tiga gas law. Uh. So kena ingat lah gas law yang mana. Okay. Alright. Okay, so thank you semua. Uh, jom ambil gambar nak tak? Last last class. Ya, nak, nak. Jom, jom, jom Nazmi, okay. jom. Jom kita ambil gambar. Ui, asal belakang kau ada gambar ni Nazmi. Kau kat mana ada Ferris wheel tu? Kat Chernobyl ke apa? Kau ada green screen juga kan Nazmi? Oh okay Okay sekejap Alright sekejap eh kita ambil gambar lalas Ui Kim, apa hal tu Kim? <laughs> Aduh Kim ni Okay Sekejap eh, okay. So, semua dah. Rasyid dah okay. Nazmi, alright. So, one, two, three. Wah, ada kucing. Okay. Alright. Settle. Itulah, tak tahu bila nak jumpa korang lagi. Uh, so, hopefully semua akan jadi okay. So, kita pun boleh ada kelas 
fizikal balik, boleh jumpa balik tapi tak tahu bila korang balik, uh, tu pula masalah dia ya, mungkin kita ada, jumpa Ada ura-ura je tak kita Ah, Apa Alia? Ura-ura apa? Aduh Ustaz Kamu boleh balik 12 Julai Eh 12 Julai ada apa? Cuti apa? 12 Julai? Ya yeah. Okay nanti cikgu tengok lah <laughs> Alright Nanti kita check Okay hopefully dapat Rasa dapat kot jumpa korang lagi nanti next time InsyaAllah InsyaAllah Okay nanti kita buat kelas lagi Okay semua so kita Selamat balik ke asrama Selamat you, thank you. Uh, Selamat beli barang banyak-banyak So korang kena be ready 3 minggu And minggu-minggu lepas tu lah Okay so cikgu doakan korang berjaya balik nanti Ada exam katanya So kalau tak tahu apa-apa Kalau nak message, message je cikgu InsyaAllah cikgu akan balas kalau korang ada soalan apa-apa Okay Okay cikgu, thank you Alright Thank you cikgu Thank you, thank you korang Jumpa lagi Cikgu, bye-bye Thank you Bye-bye Cikgu, assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam